Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and tonight it's going to be just a quick video. Um, got both the engines for the 914 sitting behind me, got the rotary there, the stock engine to its side and going to get it all prepped to go into the car. So what I'm going to do is get the adapter mounted up there. There's the adapter for the 914 transmission to go on to the rotary right there. So we'll get that mounted up and then I want to take a couple measurements mainly on the width or the length difference I should say and kind of get a game plan on how to mount it. There's the mounting point on the 12A and there you can kind of see where the factory one mounted with that bar so we'll kind of create something similar there. Got our bolts here. We're just going to pop this guy on. Uh, pretty simple. Just lines up. Uh, it's got the four studs for the 914 transmission. Engine's got a couple dowel pins on it there. So it's recessed there and there and it kind of only fits on one way. So slide it on there. This one not going to stick the counterweight or the clutch and flywheel on it yet. Haven't decided what I want to use for a clutch. A few different options. Um, so we're going to wait on that. Um, so being we're just mocking it up to get the mounts made, that's not too big a deal. So we're just going to wait on that. Alright, so got the mounting plate on, or the adapter plate on. Now I just wanted to measure a couple things just more out of curiosity on the guy. Um, this one looks to be quite a bit shorter than the stock engine that's coming out. Um, we're going to take this adapter off because it's not going to have the fan on it. Um, I just want to get a couple measurements so I can kind of plan out how I want to lay everything out in there. Um, it's going to have quite a bit more room up front and then I just got to figure out being the 914 is an air-cooled engine stock. I'm going to have to figure out where I want to stick the radiator at on it. I don't think I'm going to run it up front. It's just going to be a car that autocrosses mainly, so it's probably going to stay in the back. I got the fuel cell mounted in the front already, so I don't really want to change that much. So we'll kind of have to see once it's in there. But um, from, can I stick it in here? If we go to the mounting surface of the transmission to the front of the water pump. And that's with that extension for the fan. That is 19 and 3 quarters inch, 19.75. And if you shorten it up like we're going to on that without the little adapter for the fan, we're looking at about 17 and 7 eighths. So I'll take you over here. And measure on this guy. Can I zoom out here? 
Alright, let's see where the best place to kind of lay it across is. Alright, this isn't real precise, but we're looking at right at about 23 inches, and that's from mounting surface of the transmission to the front of the engine surround. So, looks like we're going to save a little over five inches up front. So it should leave us some room to work with. All right, so we'll pop the transmission off the stock engine here. Uh, pretty straightforward. We'll take the starter off and then, so there's one just for the starter, one that goes through the starter and mounts the transmission, and then there's just three other ones, so five in total. Got the transmission separated there. Nothing to it. So we'll take it over and set it on the rotary. There we go. Bolt this bad boy up. So for me, I'd probably would have made the studs a touch longer on the adapter plate. Show you here real quick. Kind of doesn't have a ton of grab on the thread, so we might need to do something about that. Really aren't as long as they probably should be. But that's all right for the mock up. And there it is, a Porsche 901 transmission mounted to a Mazda rotary. In case you've been waiting your entire life to see that, you can now die happy. Um, but yeah, this is a side shift transmission, so that's good. A little better than the tail shift that the early 914s came with. Um, this one's also been shortened with the gear ratios, so should be pretty zippy. Yeah. There it is. The adapter plate minus the studs fits well. Kind of looks like it belongs there. So, we aren't too far from getting in that guy there. Just had a few too many things in the way today to do it. So, maybe tomorrow night. And should be pretty close. And there's the stock engine. If you're looking for 
a 1.7 that's probably got 30 miles on it with an Eagle T1 cam. Shoot me a comment below. I believe the carbs are spoken for at the moment. But with that, I will leave you until next time. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and we'll continue on with the rotary swap in the 914.